Welcome everyone to our prayer journey with my Tote Daily Devotional. You know, it is of the utmost importance that if we were to be arrested for something, that we would get a fair trial. However, a fair trial doesn't go a long way if you're arrested for something and you're guilty. It makes things at least a little better, but you're still guilty. And it comes to a point where you have to know and say, you know what, uh, am I going to go with this to trial or am I going to make a plea deal? And they'll give you a specific time frame to make that plea deal. Now, once when I was younger, and I shouldn't say once because I did a lot of little uh, mischief things that uh, I probably could have gotten arrested for, but I had gotten arrested for something that I did not do. Someone who did not like me actually filed a false report and had me arrested. And then they had several of them ind individuals uh, back that report up saying they saw me from a distance. So here I was one night sitting at home. They come into the house, they take me in handcuffs and bring me down to the police station. And two cops, sat around me and they spoke to me and one acted good and one acted bad and uh, they they manipulated the statement to, uh, even though I told them what happened they wrote it down different they threatened me they didn't hit me or anything like that and I eventually signed the statement although the statement was so convoluted it made no sense anyway well, what that caused was now I was a, later on arraigned and brought down to jail about a week later. And, uh, and I stood over, overnight in jail. And in the process of these things, I had to get a lawyer. My parents did. And my parents had to shell out a lot of money that would probably be the equivalent of ten dollars or $15,000 today. So even during part of the period, they said, Mike, did you do this? Just confess, and they'll give you a misdemeanor charge, and you'll know, just have that in your record. And I said, no, look, I did a lot of other things wrong. I did not do this. I will not plead. And they even asked me before they spent an absorbent amount of money later on to just, you know, just plead it out. And I said, no, I'm not, because I did not do this. I had nothing to do with it. It wasn't even there. It is not right that uh, I should be brought up on these charges. Eventually, because of, I guess, the witnesses, the case basically fell apart after we spent that money and uh, I was released basically with no record. And I thank the Lord for that. And I think the Lord orchestrated the whole thing to get me set up and on the right path with him. So what am I telling you this? Well, in verse... Psalm 9, 8, it says this, He will judge the world, the Lord, in righteousness. He will administer judgment to the people in uprightness. Now, the verse before that, verse 7, it says, The Lord has prepared his throne for judgment. One day, every person is going to go before his throne. And his life is going to be looked at and there's going to be testimony. And just as the internet knows just about everything that you do, the Lord knows everything that you do. And one day you're going to come before his throne. Now, when they offered me a plea deal, they said I had a specific amount of time to accept it. And I did not because I knew I was innocent and I was willing to pay the price. Here's the deal. The Lord God has given you an opportunity through the Lord Jesus Christ who came and died for your sins, for your guilt. When you stand before the Lord God, will you see yourself as guiltless? When you have lied, when you have taken the name of the Lord in vain, when you have gotten angry with people, when you maybe even struck a person or you got drunk and caused some problems or you, you cheated on your wife or your wife cheated on the husband, whatever the case may be, when you stand before God, the righteous judge, what are you going to do? So he offers you this plea now. 
Jesus Christ died for your sins. If you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you can look in the description of this video and see how to get saved. How to take that plea deal to accept Jesus Christ, who is the Lord of the universe, sent for our sins, and to take them away and take away our time in eternity and spend it instead of with the devil, with the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm telling you that t this today, so that if you can't stand before God without sin, that you would take the plea deal now. And if you're a Christian and have already done that and are living in sin or struggling with sin, you know, God, he's faithful and just when we confess our sins to forgive us of all unrighteousness. Get on your knees and ask him now. Lord God, cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I hope that this earnest heed to take this plea deal will be heard by your ears. And for a Christian struggling with sin, would just come before the heart of God who loves you and will help you through whatever situation you have. So until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.